What's up, everyone, and good afternoon. Uh, thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me for a little bit. Today, I know it's been a while since I've done one of these. I've been kind of busy the past, what, like two and a half weeks or so, ever since I lost my uh, assistance. So now it's just me. I'm, trying, I'm looking for some people. Uh, well, I guess sort of looking for some people. I haven't actually done anything to look, but... That's all right. So I hit a thrift store this morning and got quite a few items, or not quite a few things. Spent a lot of money. I spent 500 bucks, got 50 items, but they're actually good stuff. Uh, and yeah, I did I did pay up for a decent amount of, uh, of some of them, but I should be able to get $2,000 profit or so, roughly that, maybe a little less after fees and all of that. But yeah, uh, let's get started. So the first find of the day was actually pretty good stuff. It's uh, I paid 25 bucks a piece for each of these. I got two of them. It's uh, to me. Uh, trying to find where the hang tag is. There's a hang tag. So they're hard shell cases. To me is the brand right here. Uh, they they typically sell used for like anywhere from $300. There's a crack that I noticed in the side of one, so I'll probably list that on the lower end of 200 or like 175 But they should do pretty well. Every time I've ever sold to me, it's sold very quickly uh, and for top dollar too. So I think I've found a few smaller bags for – and flip those for like 150 to 200 bucks too. So it's always nice when I can find those. It might be a bitch to actually uh, ship those out, but that's for a later date. Hopefully, uh, very quickly after I listed them. So this is actually a pretty nice find. I thought about keeping this. So most of these items, or every single item, was at least 35% off, and then. Their colored tags, they had a 50% off color tag and then also a 75% off. So this is the Yamaha Alpine Stars, like bomber jacket. So I always do pretty well with like motocross stuff, uh, Alpine Stars. Uh, actually, this may not be an Alpine Star. So this is just a star. So it's a Yamaha. I don't know who Star is, but it's a nice Yamaha satin bomber, bomber jacket. Usually these go for about 50 to 75 bucks. I probably after fee or after the thirty five percent off, I think I paid about fifteen bucks. So nice little profit there. This is actually a really cool find. So this is a Detroit uh, Negro Leagues. So brand new with tags. Uh, Negro League Baseball Museum is the actual brand. I would say has stars on the back of it. But yeah, these uh, I was looking up. How much do you sell for in store? I think it was around like sixty plus shipping. So I ended up paying roughly after the fee or after the discount, the uh, like nine bucks, something like that. Always got to be repping the Michigan State. This is a Nike Dry Fit. These are very nice polos. Uh, we used to get these when I ran for Michigan State. They're given to us for free but i had to pay for this one uh this one one was about four bucks or so so usually these flip for about 20 to 25 what's up nicole nicole's or joe actually sorry i only saw state actually so joe's in the house uh looks like we have a decent amount of people for 1 30 in the afternoon so blue sorry about that i am a actually jim harbaugh a fan though so just because he's quirky, he's weird, but yeah, not go blue. Sorry about that. Uh, obviously, you can never go wrong with this icebreaker merino wool stuff. This stuff sells really quickly and for top dollar. Uh, this is just a half sip. Uh, this, I think I paid about 11 bucks for this. I could probably get about 50 to 60 on these. It's crazy how quickly they sell too. So this is an interesting find. It's a vintage... Polo Sport hoodie has a big seven on the back of it. A Ralph Lauren Academy 
it has a weird, I don't know why hood zip this way, maybe. Oh well. But I paid eight dollars and fifty cents for it. I will probably flip it for uh like thirty-five to forty bucks or so. Jim Harbaugh flipped me off once when he played football for the Ravens. Oh, nice. Good story there. I always love selling these. Uh, the vintage nylon joggers. So joggers will have the cuffed bottoms on it. Uh, th this, these are vintage Reebok ones right there. These, usually I get about anywhere from 30 to $40 on eBay. And then on Grail, usually I'll post them for about 50 and get some offers of like 45 or 40 bucks. And I'll take those all day. This I paid 550 for these. Here's a foot joy. If you guys have watched my previous videos, you know how much I love selling foot joy stuff. This is a half zip pullover, like polyester slash spandex sweater, pullover sweater, whatever. Uh, this was five dollars and fifty cents. Usually, I get about thirty-five bucks for these. Up, everyone! Thanks for joining us, Ashley and Morgan, and <laughs> Treasure Seeking Dad pulling out all the jokes. I do know who Tyrone Wheatley is, actually. I heard my coach had a, in high school had a good uh, story about him pulling up at the state meet because apparently he like looked across the line because he was beating everyone so much and then yelled out some curse word or something. And then he knew he was going to get DQ'd for it. So he pulled up and he lost. I don't know if that's true or not, but our coach, coach loves saying that in high school or telling us that. So I started recently picking this up. It's called Peter Millar. It's a dress shirt. Uh, this was 75% off. So it cost me six bucks. Yeah. I go to expensive thrift stores sometimes. Uh, but usually I get about 25 to 30 bucks on these. So if I can quadruple my money, three exit on uh, after fees and shipping, then it's a win in my book. Again, if you watch my videos in the past, you know I love picking up the Slim Fit Banana Republic dress shirts. This one's actually, it's called the Lux Flannel. And this was uh, only three dollars and seventy-five cents. I get twenty-five bucks for these all day. So I don't usually pick up this brand uh, unless it's their suits. Joseph A. Bank, but this is new with tags. Uh, it's called the Leadbetter Performance Polo. I didn't even look it up, but it should sell decently well, especially if it's new. And I, and I only paid three dollars and fifty cents for it, so. Jess says, I've had a Foot Joy wool vest listed for a month. Maybe no one wants the Foot Joy vests. Uh, I don't know if I've ever actually sold any of the vests. Uh, I mean, Ed Wetter, no, Lead Better. Here's a newer Ralph Lauren polo. This is their new tags that I think they recently came out with, maybe in the past year or two. Uh, this was $3.75. I, I usually get about 15 to 20 bucks. For any Ralph Lauren polos, Victor Inex, Victor Inex, I don't know how to say it, Victor Inex, I don't know. This is a polo. This stuff sells pretty well for me very quickly. I get about 25 bucks for this. This only cost me $1.50, so not too bad. Uh, so Rhino LAS, you know how to print a scan form for USPS so that they scan only one form with all tracking numbers instead of package by package. Uh, not off the top of my head, I don't because I don't do pickups by uh, I don't do pickups by USPS, so I just drop everything off in the bins because they have 24-hour bins at the the postal. Actually, both the post offices here in Amber, three all three post offices here are 24 hours, so it's pretty nice. Here's some big boy Tommy Bahama swim trunks. The 3X Tall. Uh, these always do pretty well for me, especially if it has the large logo, Marlin logo spell out here. And since summer's here, uh, I mean, you can't really tell in Michigan. It's been cold and dreary and rainy all 
all day and all day yesterday was pretty bad too but yeah these were three dollars and fifty cents usually you get about 25 28 on those here's some seven for all mankind women's dojos these always sell very quickly for me like 45 to 55 bucks these ended up costing me nine right no eight dollars and fifty cents so again not a bad little flip so yeah, a lot of you guys reached out to me about this vintage polo sport or Ralph Lauren cocaine white. Got the cocaine white on. Uh, so there's this patch. Someone added to it or it had it sewn on, but underneath it is an actual Crest logo you can see. So I'm going to take an X-Acto knife after this and cut off the thread and hopefully... It doesn't affect the jacket too much. Uh, the all-white colorway of any Ralph Lauren jackets always sells well and very quickly. So once I get this patch off and it looks all right, then should be in business. I'll probably ask if everything if everything comes off all right, then I'll probably ask about seventy-five to hundred bucks on it. Yeah, I could buy a seam ripper. Usually, I just use an exacto knife. So. Yeah, hey Paisley. Yeah, I actually found a five X five XL uh, Tommy Bahama shirt at Nordstrom Rack. It was a penny. It was my first penny Nordstrom Rack find. So I've been doing pretty decent actually on uh, my Nordstrom Rack stuff. So I ended up stopping there on my way back from the thrift today. Got a few more boots, but yeah, if you double list on Poshmark. And eBay and sell it on eBay. Is it okay to change the Poshmark listing to not for sale? Is it better to delete it? Uh, if it's if it's a pretty nice item, I'll I'll change on Poshmark to not not for sale. That way, if someone's searching it, it still comes up in the search, and maybe it brings them into my closet. But if it's not a very sought after item or not that cool, then I'll just delete the listing. Your discretion. Uh, so I was talking with the deal queen, and she told me to pick up this David Meester dress sending it to her uh or selling it i don't i don't really know how much these go for and i don't know anything about women's clothing so we'll see these are pretty cool calvin johnson the goat jersey detroit lions jersey this was six dollars and fifty cents usually i get about 30 to 40 bucks on these Here's another item that the deal queen told me to pick up. So the tags aren't on it, but the little hang tag's still there. So I'm still going to, because, I mean, it is. Uh, Max Mara, never even heard of the brand. But it's a skirt, pencil skirt or something. I think that's what you call them. Uh, this was, these are 20 bucks. I didn't look up completed. The deal queen told me to pick it up. I might keep it. I don't know. I'll have to see what complete does look like. So I got a two-piece Tommy Hilfiger suit. Uh, this was $6.25. It's a good size. The smaller sizes seem to do a little better for me uh, because the more slim fit look is in line. We're in season right now or popular. Uh, and frankly, it just looks better than those big ass suits from the, from the early 90s, mid 90s. Or even early 2000s, or Nea, that's what I'm saying. Early 2000s, that was the case. So here's a women's Armani, like, geometric print suit, coat, blazer, whatever. Uh, this was 20 bucks. I might send this into the Real Real. So I did my first ever Real Real shipment, I think, about 10 days ago, 12 days ago. And... I sold two items already. There were some Jimmy Choo shoes and then some Prada heels. So the Jimmy Choo shoes sold very quickly. I think they underpriced them, but I still made a little bit of money on them after the commission. So I'm not complaining too much because they were sitting around for a little bit. Here's a cute little, uh, yeah, I just said cute. Kate Spade, like kind of smaller bag. Again, the deal queen told me to pick this up. Uh, this is only 10 bucks. I don't even know what to price it at, so I'll ask her what I should price it at. Looks pretty cool, though. 
here's probably my find of the day. Vintage, brand new, Gucci men's bifold leather wallet. Still has the inserts and everything in it. Still has the papers. It's a very nice. I did pay up for it. I paid 65 bucks for this. But completed solds look like they go for anywhere from 200 to 220 bucks. So I'll still make a solid amount of money. I'm fine with paying up for items because uh, especially if I can get like over 200, if I can if I can double or triple my money very quickly, I'm fine with paying up for items because I know how quickly they sell. And if I can double my money in one or two days, and that's better than than paying a little bit and maybe flipping it in a week or something. So I don't mind paying up for items. Uh, do you ever spend time in women's delicates looking for stuff to resell? Uh, I don't. I met the deal queen through Instagram. I've been. We kind of have this partnership where she really only sells men or women's clothing, and I only sell men's clothing. And so, if I find some like higher end brands, obviously the ones that that I know sell well, then I'll keep them to resell. But some of those mid tier brands, uh, I'll just send to her, and then she'll also send me men's clothing. So it's. It's a nice little hookup. Uh, the real, real prices, the items, what percentage do they take? Uh, yeah, they, they take 45% commission. If you end up doing $1,500 or more in a month, then they drop it down to 40% uh, commission. So you, you get 60%. And then also, if you just want to do an in-store credit, they'll give you 60% right off the bat. Uh, obviously, I'd rather have the money, though. So. I took the 55% option. And yeah, I mean, yes, it is a lot. It's a big chunk, but you're not really doing any work. If you can get it cheap enough, stuff sells a lot faster f through that. Like with those Jimmy Choo shoes, they had been sitting for almost two months, I think, and then literally sent them in. And by the time they went live, they were sold within eight hours. So not too bad. Here's another recommendation from the deal queen. Uh, these were fairly. These were only six bucks. Michael Kors like suede ballet flats. Decent amount for them. So those worked for me. So I was walking through the store, and so they had like higher end items, but these were sitting out in their lower end items, and Guisti. Liam Broomy. I don't I don't know how to pronounce it, but I looked up comps and everything looked like these were selling for about 60 or actually for like 90 to 110 dollars. I paid seven dollars and fifty cents. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it says they're made in Italy, so that's the only reason I looked them up. Liam Bruni. L-E-O-M-B-R-U-N-I is the last name. As G-U-I-S-T-I. -I, so is the first name. But it looks like I can make a little bit of money on. Here's another two-piece suit. This is a Joseph A. Bank one. Uh, I paid less than five bucks for his $4.75. The last Joseph A. Bank suit I flipped for like 75 or 80. So, and I think it flipped in like a week. So hopefully that's the case with that one too. Here's a very nice Brooks Brothers. Uh, there's still the dry cleaning tag on it. So this is Scottish lambs, Scottish lambs wool half zip. Uh, this was three dollars and seventy five cents. Usually I get about twenty five to thirty bucks on these. I, I usually only pick up those sweaters if they're cheap and if they're made of like lambs wool or some kind of wool. Uh, here's some diesel. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I uh, accidentally priced the diesel shoes wrong that I listed. Uh, I was originally, I thought I listed them at 55 bucks, but apparently I listed them at $80.95, but price. So that's a, that was a good mistake to have. So I picked these up. These are actually pretty cool. It says they're new, but they're not. They're standing on the side. You can see on the side, I don't know why they mark these as new. I mean, the bottoms look brand new, but. But I'll clean them up a little bit, get this stuff off the back, and uh, 
throw them up for maybe 60 or 70 bucks because it has this their huge logo on the side and yeah i mean they do look pretty pretty brand new minus a couple of those stains on the side here's some vintage nautica i've never come across any nautica joggers before so this is this is a pretty cool find uh and it's got the nice spell out on the side so i'll probably ask about 40 or 50 bucks on these I paid three dollars and seventy-five cents. Here's another brand that I had zero idea about, Moreschi. But again, it was made in Italy. Moreschi made in Italy penny loafers, and soles are kind of all over the place. But I took a chance on them; they were twenty-five bucks. I think most of the stuff that I saw was selling for over a hundred, so should be should be a nice flip. I'll look up solds again just to get an idea on pricing but again yeah if you guys aren't sure of an item just look it up look up completed or solds and then that'll give you a better idea that's that's usually how i do most of my research i don't i don't reach out to very many people unless i know it's their area of expertise uh then i'll reach out on instagram hit them up and see they're off of leather shoes good question i've never had or I don't I don't take any anything to the bottoms like I know a lot of like the Salvation Army armies and stuff will uh, I don't worry about that I kind of when I do take photos of the item like usually I'll place the shoe in a way at an angle where you can't really see the price on the bottom but I don't worry about taking them off uh, do I charge shipping on your items no I don't uh, it's all built into the cost my overall cost so in most suits I can get into a flat rate envelope so at most it's gonna cost me five dollars and seventy five cents there you go Josh he says Vaseline magic eraser nail polish remover those are three good options I've never used it so I don't know here's a vintage Izod Lacoste so Izod, I think Izod used to own Lacoste and then Lacoste broke off. I think that's what it was. Uh, but the vintage, the vintage Izod Lacoste always does very well for me. The cardigans do very well for me. Polos I get about 25 bucks on and this was only uh, $3 and 25 cents. What is this? What is, okay. Oh yeah, this is a Nike. This is a pretty cool find actually. Nike ACG, which is stands for all conditions gear it's their outdoor line still have it but yeah you got the kind of a screen print on the side there this stuff always does well for me it's two dollars and fifty cents about 25 bucks for it here's a big pony and uh polo Minus the thirty-five percent. So what is that? Like four bucks, three dollars and eighty-nine cents, something like that. Here's a couple women's uh, Lululemon. I think this. These are the metal. I don't know actually what these are called. If if anyone in the chat knows these, it's like this mesh. I'd say it was the metal vent tech, but I'm pretty sure that's the men's t-shirts. But I got two of them. And the lady told me that someone donated like a ton of these in every single color, like in a bunch of different colors. And they just hadn't priced them yet, but they had these priced. So I was like, uh, can you guys bring them out for me? But I have a pretty good relationship with those guys. So I don't really try to push, push any of that very much, but five to 40 bucks on these. So not too bad there. Oh, this is kind of cool. I might end up keeping a decent amount of these. Uh, they're fitted hat collection, and they're all my size. So, and look at this. Got an all black Michigan State one. So I'm definitely keeping this one. This doesn't even look worn at all. Like a quick way to tell if hats are worn, usually there'll be a lot of staining in the front brim, uh, the front inside brim whatever uh so i'll probably keep that one i'm not really a lions fan so I'll, I'll sell that one these are all new era hats they they look brand new 
Uh, I mean, obviously the stickers are on them, so I'm not going to sell them as brand new, but another Detroit Lions one. I'm not a huge Lions fan, so I don't really care about letting these go. I'm a huge Wings fan, though, so this is actually a cool one. I haven't seen anything like this. It has an NHL crest on the front, and then the Red Wings winged wheel on the back, so I'll probably keep that one, too. My style, even though it is Red Wings, I don't like the colorway. Uh, these would match those. I think they're the Jordans. They had the I forgot, the colors, the grape, the Air Jordan grapes. I think that's what they're called. These look like these would fit. So maybe I'll list it like that. What size are those shirts? I'll buy a bundle of them from you if you get more sizes. Let me look. The Lululemon ones. See if they have the size in it. This one's a size 10. I don't know if you can see it, but it's on the inner one. That one's a size 10. I'm assuming this one probably is a size 10 also. Uh, where is it? They do have some cool stuff in here. Yeah, I don't know on this one. I'm assuming they're both size 10, but yeah. Run swiftly, or, or are those men's? The women's are swiftly, the men's, they probably have them on the website right now. These are, yeah, these are women's. They're the run swiftly. So thank you for that. Uh, I have another question because I did find a pair of pants too. I may be missing. Oh, no, I have it. So I got a pair of Lululemon women's. Like, I think these are like the flare ones, kind of. I don't know if you guys can see it that well. Anything about this? This is what the back looks like. I'm clueless when it comes to Lululemon women's stuff. These are a size four tall. So, how long was I in the store today? I think an hour and a half. It's, it's a pretty small store, actually. It's just stocked full of stuff for the most part. It's pretty expensive in there. But with the when they run their color tag deals, it, it becomes doable. Again, I spent five hundred, just over five hundred dollars. I think five hundred dollars and like twelve cents or something. Uh, I got fifty items, so ten dollars per item. But between the luggage, if I sell the Gucci wallet and then the two luggage, I'll be in the in the green already. So not too bad. But yeah, if you guys if you guys know the style name on these. Lululemon yoga pa pa pants. Wow, I can't talk. Uh, they're flared bottoms. So these might be the ugliest finds of the day, but I think they're going to do well on Etsy. Women's guess. Jesus, these are so ugly. Some women's guess, like platform leather. I don't even know if it's real leather or what. Platform shoes, they're so fucking ugly. Oh my god, but they're only three dollars and 25 cents. Uh, I'll look up completed to see what they look like, but I think they'll do very well on Etsy. So, here's another brand that I had zero idea about, uh, but then I looked up completed and was like, What? This is this. These sold very well. It's called Chloe. Uh, here's the thing. It's a purse, leather purse, this huge, like, heavy lock. Comes with the key, too, so that's pretty cool. Uh, at first, I thought I was missing the key. There are a little bit of flaws, uh, but the deal queen said, since it was so cheap, it cost me 50 cents. There are some flaws, like one of the rivets is out there. Uh, but for the most part, it's it's not terrible condition. Condition. So she says I can still make some money on it. I trust her. Uh, oh yeah, the other thing is like it's missing the leather, the leather hang tag on this this one. But a few hundred bucks for it. That's that's still a win. Here's some keen uh, outdoor hiking like leather sandals or a little bit some some of these hits are leather uh these were pretty cheap i just flipped a pair of these a few days ago for uh like 45 bucks so i paid like eight 
So that should be pretty quick flip, especially with Summer being here. Found another two-piece suit. The pants are over there. I figure I won't grab them, but another Joseph A. Bank navy blue suit. Uh, paid six dollars and twenty-five cents again. This is a. This looks pretty nice, actually. So I'll ask about seventy or eighty on it. Uh, let's see. Here's a pair of Paige skinny jeans. Uh, these were. Eleven dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, eleven dollars and fifty cents. The deal queen said it, they sell pretty well, so she said it's not a terrible price on them. I have no idea what they can sell for, but I'll look up completed when they are done. Oh, found another. Here's another one of those big boys, uh, Tommy Bahama swimsuits. This was four dollars and fifty cents. Or this, yeah, this is 2XB, so 2 extra large big is what the B stands for. Again, I get about $25 to $28 on those. Here's a Ralph Lauren RLX. RLX, I believe, is their, their more sporty line slash golfing line. Uh, this stuff usually does pretty well, especially if, if it has a spell out in it. Uh, this was like five bucks, four bucks. So I'll ask about 20 to 23 on that. It says that, that Chloe bag is a Paddington, but get it authenticated before selling. Those are highly counterfeited. Yeah, uh, that's why I sent it to the deal queen. She said it looked real to her. Uh, so I trust her opinion. She's been doing high-end fashion for years now, so I'm sure she's seen quite a bit. Big Drift Thrift says, I scored a Harley Davidson gas tank. Instead of flipping, I gave it to a manager at a local thrift store. I now have carte blanche to go in the receiving area and see what's been dropped off. Wow. I, I haven't had that, but that's that's awesome. Uh, oh, last but not least, I would say this is my favorite find of the day. Condition, 1989 Nutmeg Mills, Detroit Bad Boys. Uh, NBA championship shirt, Joe Dumars, Bill Lambeer, Dennis Rodman, Rick Mahorn, Mark Aguirre, just awesome shirt, and it's in pristine condition. I'm thinking about keeping it. Like, this is just an insane, insanely cool shirt. I don't like keeping up, keeping a lot of stuff, so I need to look up completed on these i'm sure it sells for a solid amount uh this will go pretty quickly on grailed i'm assuming grailed always loves the detroit bad boy stuff but all right let me let me go through the chat see if i miss any questions all right so the groove pants you said says there are a lot of fake chloe's as it say made in italy let me look where would it say that Well, it's stamped. It has a stamp on the inside right here, so that's one good sign. I mean, the leather feels buttery soft. The stitching's perfect. Uh, do you know where it would say made in Italy? It says posted on the purseforum.com. They have authenticators there. I would have it legitimately authenticated. That's not a brand you want to mess with. There have been some incredibly well made fakes. Made in Italy on metal plate inside. Huh. Yeah. Let me look a little bit more. I don't want to bore you guys right now, but yeah, I'll look a, a little bit more later. Find out. But uh, do you do all shoes at flat rate prices? Yeah, everything's sold. I don't charge anything for shipping on my items. Everything's free shipping. I charge on the luggage. I mean, I'll probably undercharge, but I still want to recoup a little bit. So I'll probably charge about 10 or 12 bucks for it. If it goes out to California, it's going to cost me quite a bit of money. But uh, the, again, that's built into the price. And if I can sell it for like 250 I'm only 25 bucks into it. So. Not too bad, but 
All right, guys. Uh, I need to do work today. So I appreciate you guys hopping on. I'm assuming Nicole and I will be doing our weekly show on Thursday. I haven't really talked to her about it this week. But, yeah, definitely uh, I will reach out about the purse and uh, figure it out. But, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Uh, happy reselling, and hopefully everyone has great sales today. Have a good one.